There's five kind of controls that you're going to come across in Headcase Builder. One is the slider, like this, or like this, or like this. The other one is a knob, like this, or a checkbox, like this, or this. The other one is a uh, placement area, which is like this. The next one's a button, like these, or these, and a drop-down menu, like these. So let's go a little more in depth on these sliders, because they're not quite as, as apparent as we'd like them to be. There's two ways of entering values uh, in a slider, for the most part. Um, the big exception is this C gain slider, but we'll get to that in a second. You can either slide left or right. Now sliding to the right increases the number. Sliding to the left decreases the number. So all, all you're going to do is you're going to go in, you're going to click on it, then you're going to slide, and that will change the number for you. The other way you can do this is you can double click and enter a value. I'm going to enter 40 hertz here. So one of the problems that we had come across on this is that, you know, say, say you're at 40 hertz and you want this thing to go to 1230, you know. Um, you can do this if you want, just clicking it and slide. And, you know, within the next six to seven months or so, it'll actually go up to 1230 hertz. You'll, you'll actually reach the number. But if you don't want to spend six months changing, you know, a low cut value here, uh, and you don't want to double click for whatever reason, um, you can press the shift key, hold the shift key down, then click and move it. And that will make it make it move, you know, whatever, ten times faster. Now this is completely customizable by you. Uh, the amount that it moves with and without the key, um, and you can even set what key you want it to move with. That's done in the defaults right here, and right here under Control Change Scaling. Um, you have text box sliders and you have graphical cutoff sliders. Now, what, what the difference is is these are text or these are our graphical cutoff sliders right here and here. These are text box sliders. Now you'll see these text box sliders all over the place. Um, right here, for example, they are everywhere where you're going to set set uh, different knobs. You know the X Y positions of the knobs. These here are all graph or all text box sliders, and they function exactly the same way as all of them do. You can either double click or you can um, slide it, or you can slide it with a shift if you want for large change notification. So, that's probably all you need to know about sliders, with the exception of the C gain. We wanted to get back to that, right. This slider works exactly the same as all of them do, with the exception that you cannot double-click and enter a value. All as you can ever do with these is slide left or right. So, the next thing you're going to encounter is, is knobs. Basically, these these are just they're pretty simple you you don't try and do them in a round motion you click on the knob and go straight up or straight down with the mouse um, the other thing that'll happen with these is, is where and and they're in contrast to these sliders where with a slider to make it move fast you press the shift key like this whereas with with a knob to make it move slow you press the shift key. That's all there is to know about knobs. There's not much else there. And buttons are pretty standard. You know, you click them and they do whatever they're going to do. Uh, let's go to the drop down menus. Okay, you'll see these all over the place for different things. Um, in this case, these are selecting different types of curves. Placement areas, there's there's really only one of these and that's in here in the gain, gain section. All is this allows you to do is just pick up and place the uh, the tone stack in between any one of these tubes or curves. 
Um, buttons, okay, uh, there's these as well. On off buttons for different curves. And uh, they're essentially, they could be a checkbox as well. They're, they're just an on off. Just like these checkboxes here, you know, they're on off as well. Now, what else was there? I think that's about it. Oh, we haven't talked about moving these things. With your knobs, these knobs, placement of these knobs can be done with the sliders. And let's go to the tone stack, for example. Now, these are going to be done in the graphics section uh, of the tone stack. Now, let's say, for example, we want to move the treble knob which is right here. Okay, so there's the X and Y coordinates of the treble knob. Oops, double clicked it. Okay, let's go 30. There, you see it move? Now that was at 51, I believe, so we'll go back to 51. And it's back to where it was. So you can either do that or you can slide them too. As you see, it's sliding now, and it's moving. And X and Y, up, down, the other thing you can do is pick it up over here by the handle and move it around manually. Now, the difference being here is that you have this right here. When this is green, these things will show red. These handles will be red, meaning you can't move them. The reason why we put a lock on this, or an adjustable lock, you can turn it on or off, is because while you're designing your head, sometimes you'll, you'll go to move the knob, you know, turn it up and you'll accidentally grab the handle and all of a sudden the knob will be way the heck up here. So you have to move it back down, try and get it into position and and it just got to be a pain in the pain in the in the butt. So um to way the way to move it is you turn that off and then you'll see these will turn like a I don't know, I guess a cyan color. And then all you need to do is jump up and move them to wherever you want. Now, it glitches graphically a little bit there, but that's okay. It's it's sort of the way we wanted it. We wanted it to have a trail of where it was to where it is going. And same thing goes with these, you know, these labels here as well. They can be moved, picked up and and, and moved around. Or they can also be moved here, like this, on the slider. So... Um, I guess that's it for controls and head case. Uh, we won't get into the Frankenamp controls yet. Um, yep. So, thank you very much.